I think the outlook for Pakistan is, uh, in my view, quite uh, positive and uh, it's a country of 200 million people. It is strategically located. Its biggest asset is its human capital, the people of Pakistan. And uh, if you see over the years, the country has continued to grow economically. We've had 5 to 8 percent growth, depending on the year, uh, for the last several years. We obviously have to show good governance, we have to show reforms, we have to do a lot of things to reach our true potential. The, we have some uh, challenges like extremism and terrorism, which, because of what's happening in the region, has affected us. But now we see um, a very concerted action by the security forces and the Pakistan army to deal with this issue. The China-Pakistan economic corridor is a game changer for that region and Pakistan definitely. Uh, we will see billions of dollars of investments taking place. It will improve connectivity between China and Pakistan. And if you look at where Pakistan is located, the port of Karachi, is very close to Dubai and the rest of the GCC, where we are today. I mean, we are in Dubai today. So uh, whenever you have connectivity, whenever you have linkages, whenever you have the ability to communicate and travel from one place to the other with good services and people, you improve the quality of the relationship. Pakistan and Saudi Arabia, the relationship between the two countries is very deep and historic. It also reflects uh, a common faith, a common view of world issues, and uh, a tremendous linkage in all ways. Pakistan and uh, Saudi Arabia have had security cooperation over the years. Secondly, we have extensive investment. There's a S Saudi Pakistan investment company which has invested in projects in Pakistan. There is linkage because of the holy uh, sites in Saudi Arabia. As Saudi Arabia changes, Pakistan changes, this relationship will get deeper and better.